Hey, my name is Happy. I help candidates in .NET interview preparation. After watching this video, you will be able to answer this question in any interview. If you have any confusion in any interview question, then post in the comment section and I will make a video on it. So let's start with this question. Let's start with the definition. Inheritance is creating a parent-child relationship between two classes where child class will automatically get the properties and methods of the parent class. Let me show you the same thing in the code. Here we have a employee class which is a parent class here. Remember base class, parent class and super class are same things. Do not get confused by their names. Then we have this permanent employee class which is a child class. Again derived child and subclasses are same thing. Now notice that the permanent employee class do not have any method or property inside it. But still, when we will create the object of the permanent employee class inside the main method, then we will automatically get this property experience and this calculate salary method for it. So this calculate salary method is not present in the permanent employee class, but it will automatically get it from its parent and that is what is inheritance is let me show you the same thing in the code see here is the console application we have a small employee class and the same permanent employee class which is inherited from the employee class now we are creating the object of the permanent employee class and see if we will do this so this experience and this calculate salary method are not present in permanent employee class but that it is inheriting, inheriting it from the parent employee class. Let's go back to the slide now. So this is what is inheritance. Now the next part is why inheritance is an important thing in softwares. The answer is because inheritance is good for reusability and abstraction of code. Uh, let me give you an example. For example, if tomorrow you get a new type of employee and that is contract employee, then you can drive from the same employee base class for getting uh, these methods and properties, experience and calculate salary. So you need not to write these method and properties inside here. So if you will not use inheritance, uh, like if you will not create this base class employee, then you have to write uh, these two, one property and one method inside both this contract employee and permanent employee class and in both classes. So right now, just by writing at one place, you are using them in their derived class. So this is what is inheritance and its use. Now in upcoming videos, we will discuss more concepts of OOPS and more important interview questions.